When we look at this expression, our eyes are immediately drawn to the number 3. We see a 3 in the denominator of the fraction 5 over 3, and we see another 3 multiplying at the very end. Naturally, our brain wants to find a shortcut. We think that dividing by 3 and multiplying by 3 are opposite operations, so they must cancel each other out completely. If we assume they cancel, we remove them from the picture, and that just leaves us with 55 divided by 5. 55 divided by 5 gives us 11. And again here, we have a very clean, simple integer. It feels like the right answer. But this answer is not correct. Because according to the order of operations, math is not about taking shortcuts based on what looks nice. There is a strict sequence we must follow. Before we break down the correct method, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more viral math challenges. Also, I have a challenge for you. What do you think is the result of 10 divided by half times 2? Is it 10 or is it 40? Let me know in the comments to be the pinned answer. Now, back to the problem. The rule says, first, we have to do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication or division, and finally, addition or subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to work from left to right. You cannot jump to the end of the problem just because the numbers look like they match. In this expression, we have two main operations, a division by a fraction and a multiplication by a whole number. We must start at the left. The first operation is 55 divided by the fraction 5 thirds. We cannot touch the times 3 at the end yet. To divide a whole number by a fraction, we use the reciprocal rule, keep, change, flip. We keep 55, change the division sign to multiplication, and flip 5 over 3 to become 3 over 5. Now, look closely. The 3 is now in the numerator. It is on top. It does not cancel with the other 3. In fact, we haven't even used the last 3 yet. First, let's finish the fraction math. 55 divided by 5 is 11, and 11 times 3 is 33. So the entire first part of the expression equals 33. Now we bring down the final operation from the original problem. We are left with 33 multiplied by 3. We simply calculate 33 times 3. If we do this, we get a number much larger than 11. And this is our final answer to this problem. The correct answer is 99.